guys, how you doing? We are here in Chandler, Arizona, Firebird Lake. This is the video I really didn't want to have to make only because this is the final race ever at Firebird Lake here in Chandler. But we're gonna give you guys all the sights and sounds and hot rods of the water and have a good time. It's day one, Friday, qualifying day. We've got a lot of stuff planned for you, a lot of interviews, a lot of fast boats. And to share this adventure and this very meaningful race this weekend, I got my brother Larry with me again, and uh, <laughs> we're gonna have a good time watching drag boats. I'll see you guys in a little bit. One thing before noon at every race and we by the lake and that is pop a cold one we're gonna do that today cheers to my brother here last race of Chandler we're having a good time cheers cheers oh yeah that works <laughs> that's too early for that all right guys all we're doing is having something to eat and we sit down and we meet this fine gentleman who's here for a lot of good reasons with a lot of great drag boat history introduce yourself and I'm Charlie Zelotic from St. Louis, Missouri. Been involved in track boat racing since 72. Uh, putting on races and racing. Coming out here ever since they opened this track. Enjoy doing it and I uh, hope you come around and do it too. Yeah, yeah. But this is why you come to drag boat racing, guys. You meet great people like this, you learn great history, and just have great conversation. We really enjoyed it. Thank you, sir. Appreciate yeah. your time, man. Yeah. Well, let me tell you, from an association, a lot of association drivers don't think we're so great. Well. <laughs> Especially when you make a ruling against them. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're good, man. We yeah. appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, there he is. What's going on, Dusty? How you doing, man? Oh, how about you? Good, good, man. Hey. Larry. This is my brother. He came out, man. Larry. Oh, hi. Dusty. Nice to meet you. Yeah, the whole crew is here. Captain yeah, I, I just seen you guys. What's up, gentlemen? Oh, hey, what's going on, buddy? How you guys doing? What's up? What's up? Very nice to meet you. And uh, we're. Kevin, he's got a lot going I'm gonna, on. I'm gonna... We had a good pass today. Well, okay. a full pass. I don't know so... how I missed. Oh no, we did see it. We did yeah. see it. Yeah, they yeah, yeah. announced him wrong too, though. The... Oh, that's what happened. Yeah, yeah, they announced him under Tony Dunlop, but it's 7:15, so he's getting there. He was a nine, then he was an eight, now he's at a 7:15. Oh, okay. So good, good, little good. more work. You yeah, know? yeah. Good, good, good. Are you singing the next anthem? Is that you tomorrow doing? Tomorrow morning. Oh. I didn't today. They didn't call me today, but tomorrow oh. I will. Okay, good deal. Right on. We'll see you guys later. What's up, gentlemen? Having everything going good? <laughs> that's, that's good. Yeah. That's good. He got a little nervous off the lead a little bit. Yeah. So now he's going to drive it through. Good deal. I got a little nervous after Parker when it tried to go to the moon on me. Yeah. So it left the line and it would have took a set. I just got a little scared, so I rolled out of the gas a little bit. And I was like, man, I should have stayed in. And I got back on the gas. and. About halfway through the pass, he's running good. I'm like, dummy, get your foot off the down pedal. <laughs> so. You guys say thanks to Wayne Mettler? Wayne Mettler? Yeah. yeah. Okay. He came over and uh, gave us some little assistance. Nice. Just to make sure we're okay. Good deal. So. Hey, this is my brother Larry. That's Vince Larry, and Kevin. How's it going? And it's Vince Senior over there, the OG. How's it going? He's the OG. Yeah, he's six years old and he's still kicking everybody. He is. But. He is. That's a fact. He won the Pro Comp Flat Championship in two weeks. Yeah, that's right. Uh, that's a good deal. Yeah. So we're out here to support these four boats here. Good deal. I love to see that. That's what it's all about. Eight twenty-five. Quickest he's ever ran. Yeah, I, I'm just joking with those guys. I see him run, and I can't wait a minute. That's not uh, what he was running before. That's my old uh, yeah. bought out of Trump money. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome, man. So he's happy we ripped the SC uh, numbers off of it, so. That's good. And then Jason Lister, that red boat. Yeah. First race yeah, I got it. Hey, she looks good, man. Very nice. What year is this? 75. This is like Mitch's boat, Larry. 
So, Jason Lister, this is a 75 Sanger True Flat. I put it together as a lake boat, and since uh, Firebird's going away, here we are. It's got a little dump truck motor in it. <laughs> it's just a toy, man. Yeah, looks good, man. Thanks. Hey, who did the paint? Uh, a guy in uh, Sacramento. Oh, really? Yeah. Is it the boat's from California? Yeah, and then I had a, had a guy here do the floor. It's carbon Kevlar floor. Ooh, very nice. I can talk to that's good. It's a beautiful looking boat. Yeah, it's beautiful. I talked to uh, uh, Australia. Phil. Phil and Bob. Yeah, Phil, I said, hey, there's still more time. You can still get here. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. So he got me hooked up on him. And, uh, yeah. yeah, their shirts are cool. Yeah, they are. Because no one else has got them. That's what I like. You and I are the only two guys that got them. <laughs> My name is Randy Melvin, and this is my 1978 Beesmeyer jet boat. Uh, most of them are prop boats, but this happens to be a jet. And I think it's really great. The only bad part about it is you don't get a lot of room right here. That's probably the hardest thing to deal with. Okay. But as far as actual, I love this boat. It's yeah. So much fun. Yeah. We put a uh, new race dude on it here. Um, did a couple other things, a new loader, and this thing launched harder, harder than ever. So yeah. we ran a good number. Good. Uh, 9002, number three qualifier right now. In which class? The SC. Okay, cool. So, and I hear it's the largest field. Yeah, so yeah. So that's got to be something to... That is, it says a lot about the sport. Let me ask you a question, how many, how many times have you raced here at, at this facility? I've been racing at this facility since 2014. Okay, that's... That was my first... First time there, and, right. and I remember uh, the people that got me started in. I didn't even know which was the inside lane, which was the outside yeah, lane. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, it's nerve wracking going on. So the now when I tell somebody, you know, hey, what's uh, you know, any new pointer or something doing? I always tell them, right as I get ready to tap on the shore, I said, if you one thing, if you get sick, don't throw up in the boat. <laughs> throw up outside <laughs> the boat. That's right. That's <laughs> and right. then they look at me like, does that really happen? Oh yeah, it can. You bet. It does. Yeah, so what's your biggest fondest memory of this track? The fondest memory of this track. Um, years back when uh, when uh, Tommy Thompson was here yeah. and all the guys, Saturday night was so big. He had his fish fry that would be going on, oh. and everyone was known for the certain things. Uh, Rob Funk made his moonshine. He walked around and handed all that out, and the pits uh, they had more energy at night. They were. They were more of a, a party. More people stayed in the pits versus everybody just going to get in the room. Oh, okay. So now the pits are real kind of quiet at night. Right, right. Um, and the only people that are left are uh, us old guys that would try to make a lot of noise. But you know, nine o'clock comes rolling along, and that's it. <laughs> oh, do we know about get, that? I don't get up anymore. I don't get. Down. I got laid down. I get down. Yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Right on, man. Pleasure meeting you, my hey, friend. Nice meeting you, Good luck teacher. out there. We'll hey, see saw you. your videos. I really, really well, love them. Now you'll be in it. All right, great. Thank <laughs> you, man. Appreciate it. Nice to meet you. All right, nice to meet you. Uh, Rob Anderson running the uh, stock eliminator class. I use a river racer with ADBA. They picked their and, uh, here. I have a 55 uh, year old boat. Uh, I don't know what it is. It's a mosh of a lot of different boats. Back in the 70s, they made uh, everybody and their brother made a different boat. So it's got right things of a Sanger, uh, different first. boats. But uh, I got a 454 Chevy in it, uh, 60 over, 468. Uh, it's basically uh, go have fun on the river uh, motor. And uh, I decided uh, a few months ago to go racing, and today I made my. Ninth pass and having a ball. Um, getting better at it, getting the tires better, and uh, just enjoying what we have here. Yeah. I, uh, I've been racing circle track. I was running dirt and asphalt for over 25 years. And I've raced everywhere from uh, Skagit Speedway up in Washington down to El Cajon in San Diego. And then on the East Coast, everywhere from uh, Southern Ohio to Southern Alabama. And um, I was once the car owner for the legendary Bobby Allison. And uh, really enjoyed that. Uh, raced Nashville Motor Speedway, Charlotte Motor Speedway, raced all over the country. But uh, anyway, uh, got into boats and was out here one year ago for this event and I was up in the stands 
and I seen a guy run Next runner up out. in the stock in the stock We're limited class, ran runner up IG with a basically a family jet boat. Solutions. And I was like, man, I could do that. Absolutely. So I got back into racing. Nice. So yeah, here we are. Good deal. Now, the reason I like this guy, I, mean, I like everybody out there, but you know, we both do the same thing for a living. And let me tell you, it's not easy. You got to burn the hours beyond what most other people do to have stuff like this to do what he does. So we appreciate that here at the Workers Tip Lifestyle. Thanks, Rob. Appreciate right. your time, brother. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, we are wrapping up day one, Friday qualifying. Big qualifying day tomorrow, finals on Sunday. We want to make sure we got everything right for you guys to see, so we're going to do that. We've met some good people today. We saw a bunch of days racing. We'll keep it happy for you. I make sure you guys like your stuff. Anyway, thanks for joining us on day one. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Work us out. All right, guys, good morning. We are back at Firebird Lake. I got a bigger team today. I got the boss producer and editor in chief executive, and I got the brother. So we got a team for you. We're gonna get it done. All right, guys, we'll see you in a little bit. Let's go visit with the Scribners. Morning, morning. How you doing? How are you? Good. I've seen you in a while. It's been a minute. Been, I've been, been busy. Uh. Yeah, working. Nice. That's good. Working That's good. That's good. How you doing? Special for us. How you doing? Good. 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 How you guys doing? Morning. Good morning. Everybody having fun? Yeah. Oh, good, 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 good. Is that, uh, is that a new power plant there? Or is that you're going to put it? Uh, no, we're going to upgrade it. Okay. Nice. And who built that motor? That's a, uh, the new one? Yeah. That's a rear horse. Very nice. And there's some history with you guys with that one? With, or the builder? Or? My dad used to race um, pro stock cars. And then uh, Lee Shepard was like his really good friend. He got killed in Oklahoma yeah. testing. So I just figured, you know what? It's just kind of like a tribute to that, an engine builder guy, you know? Sure. It's personal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how are you guys doing on qualifying so far? Uh, she's number one. Oh, good. Good. Have fun. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'll let you guys get do your thing, right. man. I'll talk to you guys again. Be safe. Have fun, guys. Max, good to see you, brother. See you too. Take care, man. Yeah, you too. favorite Kevin Hotchkiss see how he's doing out here in Chandler this morning mr. Kevin how the hell are you? I'm doing great man I'm at the boat drag I'm seeing you how you doing good good how we running it's uh still chugging along good, good, good. number six spot out of 19 boats Nine, yeah there's a lot of boats here a lot of freaking boats yeah. Fritin, this is my brother Larry Larry how are you doing I would have guessed it yeah, yeah. <laughs> just a little yeah a little bit so you got everything going good everybody's yep good got a, got a little bit of a water leak somewhere but as long as it don't sink keep yeah. it moving that's all right yeah. blow it up or sink it <laughs> <laughs> or win or win that win would be Three great yeah uh, well, i'd like to see you get a win here today that's for sure yes that'd be fun a little money would be nice the final trophy yeah that's that, always that would be great for this race yeah Right, all right, I'll let you do your thing. I want to all check right, in. There's always people like to see you, so we'll talk to you again. All right, for the win. Hey, oh, one more thing, sorry. Yeah. Biggest memory of this track? Swimming boats in, back in the old days. Ah, okay. That's how I started this goofy crowd. Nice, yeah. all right, that's great. <laughs> we used to get paid in warm beer. Oh. And rations. Well, when you're young, that's just fine. It was just <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> all right, brother, we'll see you later. All right, we'll see you guys.
Brian Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I know nice. who you are. Oh, good, 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 good. good. All of you on Facebook. Right? All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, tell us about your boat. Well, it's a uh, race in the TE class. Parked it in 2017, actually. Oh, yeah? Had some neck surgery, so I've been in hiatus for uh, about five years. Oh, okay. Um, but uh, we brought it out to Wheatland in June and tried to knock the cobwebs out. We plan on racing so I think right now we're sitting number four. We had a few gremlins yesterday. Yeah. Where are you guys from? Uh, Ramses Pass, Texas. And once you do this, it's, uh, yeah, I think it, yeah. you're stuck. You are. <laughs> I agree. Is that your sponsor? No, I'm, I, that's, I'm in the Sonic business. We've got a bunch of stores in Texas. So. Oh, right on, man. All right, I appreciate your time, my friends. Nice to meet you. Same here. All right. Take care. I hope to see you again. Yes, come by and see us. All right, take care. your videos. Awesome. Those I are appreciate great, that. Man. You got a second to uh, introduce yourself and tell me about your boat? Sure. Hi, Tom Riggs, Blown Gas Flat. Uh, we're running the Drag This uh, boat. Uh, just ran a 614 and uh, I think we're qualified third right now for tomorrow, but uh, Cole TR4, uh, Pete Fleming takes care of the motor. There's my son Tyler uh, wrenching on the boat. This yeah, yeah. is Wooly uh, working yeah, on the buddy. boat too. And, Hey, got to be here for the last race last at race. Firebird. Absolutely. So uh, a lot of memories here. We're yeah. gonna miss this place. Yeah, yeah. What's your biggest memory of this place? Racing with my dad. Oh, nice. Uh, we, we we raced the same boat together in the early '90s. Okay. And uh, he's since passed away, but we keep his uh, uh, we keep his shirt up there, so he's still with us. Oh, that's and, awesome. Uh, that is awesome. Yeah, and this is just uh, just a lot of great memories here, and I uh, just love being with all. Of all the same guys in Blown Gas Flat. Yeah, flat. it's a great so, class. It is. Yeah. So. Yeah. So hopefully we'll be okay for tomorrow. Right. Uh, it's a 540 inch uh, uh, aluminum motor, uh, 1471 blower on it, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Okay. Nice. The boat always looks beautiful. That's one thing I want to oh, say. Thank, thank and you I, very I much. know that's not an easy thing to do all the time. Uh -huh. But when you have good guys around you, oh, yeah. it always works. So. Oh, yeah, they work real hard. I couldn't do it without them. Nice. All right, Tom, very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We'll you see too. you again. Good luck out yeah. there.
while back, he's a hot rod guy I follow, and he, he calls the Turbos party whistle. I thought that was a pretty cool name for Turbo. That's pretty good. I've yeah, heard that. I know. Oh, me. So i got a couple party whistles. we got party whistles going here. I think that's pretty awesome. <laughs> we got we got a cruise stamp, so we feel one of the boosters up there. All right. Try to just take it easy. Our index is 520. Oh, okay. You're going to wait for your next. So we just got right. to tune it for rolling up like everybody else. Yeah, yeah. What class is it? You're ready? Pro Outlaw. Okay, Pro Outlaw. Yeah, yeah. Right on. Then we're able to bring both of that right now. Well, we're number five before this round. I don't know what we are now. Okay. Right on. I appreciate your time, brother. And uh, we look forward to seeing you out here. Damn it. I know it would be nice to win this last race. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it would be fun. We're coming to take pictures of your boat yourself. Oh, right on. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, introduce yourself and tell me about it. I'm Sean Giroux. We run Blown Gas Flat Bottom. Uh, Roy Cook and Tim Spurgeon, boat owners. Um, number one qualifier. Nice. Doing good. Yeah, 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 yeah. What motor are you guys running? We run a little old Chevrolet. A little old Chevrolet? Yeah, a little yeah. old Chevrolet. Got a little fire to it? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. It's awesome. an, they call it the angry little Chevy. Mention my sponsors. Yeah, absolutely, mention my sponsors. go right ahead. Um, I really want to thank everybody, fans, for supporting Purple Haze Racing. First of all, but I got some people I want to mention. Um, at Super Clean, Marshall Tucker Band. Now they, Doug Gray is a fellow gearhead. He used to drive race back in the mid 70s. A couple of them, a couple of players back then had, had drag cars. So he's always loved the sport. And this is his first drag boat sponsor. So, but anyway, uh, I want to thank Super Clean for sticking by us. Um, NGK. Um, and then I got Gray Con, Con's Creek Construction, the Grays in Missouri that support. They're my crew. They, I love those guys. 
Um, I want to uh, thank Jet Set for coming on board and supporting us here, right here. And he's located here in Wild Horse Pass yeah. area. And, and she's sitting here giving me crumbs. <laughs> epic, epic, out of uh, epic construction company. They're our newest sponsor. Oh. Also, want to, uh, we lost, lost a brother here of mine. Um, Little summer. He's a fellow with a fellow green head. Listen, I appreciate your time. We wish you guys luck. Sounds right, great. Thank Sounds you. Good. I appreciate it. Oh, all right. Nice to meet you. Thank we'll you. See you again. All right. Good luck. Thank you. This old character right here, Mr. Harvey. <laughs> How you doing, man? Hey, you, doing, 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 you recognize that person right in front of you right there? Yeah, I done hugged her. <laughs> she came over here and I, uh, we already talked. Yeah, good, good, good. Yeah, everything's good. I've been out of the bed. Oh, man. What do you tell? Hi, I'm Jet Set. Uh, Kevin Pollard. Uh, Jet Set Pontleroy from Lifeline Race Gear. This is Skipper. This is Red Dog. And we're representing the safety equipment company that um, built all the gear that these guys wear from head to toe. Check him out if you come to the drag strip. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, I'm Darrell Early. This is a pro modified boat owned by Doug Mater. Blast to drive and race. Been the championship winner a couple times. Nice. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. don't work on it quite as much as we did with the fuel boat, which right, is right. also very nice. We get the business so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still gets you out there. You have to use your skills. You got to cut some lights and do it too. Right. Very competitive class. 
What's your most memorable moment here at Firebird? I married my wife here about, well, one year ago, almost today. We got a week ago. Nice. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. That's a good memory right there. There you go. Yeah. Oh, man, I tell you what, after 30 years of this place, there's just a lot of them. I yeah, mean, yeah. That's the thing. It's the whole allure of this place. It is. It's just a shame it's going away, but yeah. we got to make the best of it today. And we'll believe that when we see it. Hang yeah. in there. You yeah, never yeah, know. yeah. Right on, man. Daryl, I appreciate your time, man. Absolutely. Thank you. Good luck out there. Be safe. Maybe get that trophy. Well, be safe or have fun. Choose one. Yeah, there you go. Works for me. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Give me that beer 30 call, I got you I can't run. What's up, what's up, what's up? This is how we do it, boom. Ah, this is how we do it. Hey, what's your name, bro? My name's Diallo, brother. How you yep, doing, Diallo? man? Diallo. Diallo. Not Diablo, but Diallo. 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 <laughs> hey, this is our favorite bartender out of Diallo, man. He's getting it done. He's selling the goods, making us have a good time. Yes, yes. Just moments ago. And uh, should be good job. Does Marty know what kind of beer we made? Uh, just let me know what was This is my brother. Uh, uh, he's just here. Sounds like big gorgeous. Let's go. Larry. Jojo. 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 Nice to meet you, Byron. Yeah. yeah, introduce yourself for the camera for me. I'm oh, Mike Chabber, Ricky Bobby 026. Yeah, all right. <laughs> 78 Hondo. Name Ricky Bobby. Been running about three years now. Yeah. So what I always notice when I watch you is uh, you're one of those guys who really get that front end up sometimes in the starting line. Oh, you get yeah. up that fella good. Well, we had a handling problem with the boat. We think we got that fixed. We redid the whole bottom of the boat. Yeah. So hopefully that's taken care of. I mean, out here, out here we haven't done it. And then Parker, we kind of, Parker, we got it kind of under control. So, you know, we actually painted this ourselves. We got, okay. we got three of them. Well, two right now. We're working on the third one. Uh, I believe we're six right now. Okay. We're going backwards with the two, and I don't know what's going on. It's like I said, new list. I'm learning, so yeah, good deal. Yeah. You know, the boat's under control. I could drive it now. Well, it's funny, nice to meet you. Nice I know you're busy, man. So good. keep oh. at it. Good luck.
we've got the grudge race big time we've got marty logan in a top alcohol hydro and he's going to be running kevin kinsley in a top fuel hydro they are going to race to a thousand feet this should be a good race let's see what happens a lot of fun a lot of people here to see this let me show you all right guys you see we're all ready to watch this should be fun stay tuned it's coming right up Good morning. Day three, the final day ever here at Wild Horse Pass, Firebird Lake for the finals drag boating. It's a very special day, it's an emotional day, but here we are, we're gonna get it for you. Listen, you guys are here this weekend when you see this on YouTube, or you're not here and you're watching it, but you have a great memory, leave me a comment. Tell me about your best memories here at Firebird. I'd love to hear about it and uh, get some feedback on that. All right, guys, we got a full day, elimination day. With the help of my brother, Larry, we're going to get this and make this as memorable as possible. All right, guys, I had to break in here. Man, oh, man, oh, man. I want to introduce you all to Cole Irick. This was a pre-planned interview. Couldn't wait to talk to this guy. And I've had the settings set wrong on the camera. I apologize, Cole. I can assure you when we see you in February, we will redo this again so the people can hear your voice. The reason I wanted you all to see Cole is... Uh, I've been watching him now since he first got in uh, Jerry and Beverly's boat and he has made leaps and bounds in progress. Fun to watch. He started out in Parker and each run he went down the track he just got better and better and then he's here today uh, Firebird for the last race and this kid he's on fire. He's showing a lot of promise. He's got some great teachings with, from his father, his grandfather and Jerry. Those guys all know how to get down the track. I've been doing this a long time. We'll, we'll do it again. All right, guys, Cole Irick, remember that name. All right, guys, I just want to touch bases here. We're walking through the pits. Everybody's doing warm-ups. It's, uh, it's a big feeling, but it's, it's, again, a lot of emotions here, man. You know, you just this is the last time we get to do this, and it's just... Anyway, warm-ups are going on. It's uh, bittersweet, but I'm glad to be a part of it. And I hope you guys enjoy too. Car. Okay, I thought so. That's the one we've been hearing. I'm like, what in the world? It's <laughs> awesome. Thanks, man. Who, who was originally built by? Oh, Menard. Yeah, uh, I work for. I work. I build Indy car motors for a living. Okay. So that's John Menard's. Uh, that's his developed Indy car. Oh, thing sounds. Yeah, beautiful. it sounds unreal. Thanks, man. It's what only you? 244 inches. No kidding. Yeah. It we can get them. We'll get them. Yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> What's your name? Bill. 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 Nice to meet you, Bill. Brian. Thanks, Brian. Absolutely. Thank you. Good luck, man. Thank you.
hit a home, bro. <laughs> that's, what, that's what he said. Yeah, you gotta come here to win. You don't come here to give me. I got my crew chief and my coach over here telling me what to do. There you go. Thank you. So, thank you. Thank yeah, that was fun. We're we'll gonna we'll be watching you. All right, yeah, man. Yeah.
This is it. This was the final race here at Firebird. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Great event. You know, you hate to see something come to an end like this, but it is. So it's with a heavy heart, we end it here. Maybe someday it'll happen again somewhere else, but I will see you again uh, down the road. Just remember guys, if you liked the video, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell. I look forward to seeing you again and bringing you more races down the road. The season starts back in February. I will be there. Thanks guys. Always remember, Firebird Wasteway.